Hey there, Leo. This is your August 2020 love tarot reading. Saging the energy a little bit. Just got off the phone with a Leo after two hours. And it was intense. All the more interesting for me to read about you, my dear. <laughs> that might be the title of this video. Alright, Leo's just clearing up that frenetic energy. A little fire on fire. I'm your Aries reader, Madeline Marie. Hopefully you can hear me. So I'm going to start for you, Leo, by pulling a card from the Love Oracle just to get an overall theme for your August 2020 love reading. Go ahead and get a theme for Leo. These are kind of hard to shuffle. I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Just going to go ahead and mix them up a little here. I'll just slide them around. I'll just have fun with it. All right, let's see. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So this could be a little bit about boundaries, even though it's labeled power. You know, you have the power to say no and walk away. You have the power to put up your boundaries, Leo. Oops, this one wanted to fall out. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I'll stick that behind here. See what you're working for here, Leo. Maybe it's something about, you know, if you're not going to get, you know, the results that you're seeking. But maybe you're trying too hard. I feel like that's for a very select few of you. Sorry about that. Put those away. All right. So I usually just sort of feel for which deck that I want to start with first. I think for you, we're going to go oh, with the traditional deck. thought it was in that box. We'll use this as the clarifier, this deck. All right. So tell me about Leo's love life for August 2020. What is going on with my Leo's? These two fell out, but I'm going to throw them back in there. Just Felt like more of a mistake for me sticking this ring on that finger. Alright. Tell me about August love reading for Leo. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, of course, because we have the hermit here, but this could also be you feeling a little bit introverted at this time. A little bit, you know, more like you're next door neighbor sign cancer who i'm going to read for next you know you're kind of staying in the house like a hermit crab queen of wands this is you leo you're strategizing here male or female queen is all about strategizing and protecting the king or the kingdom all right this is a good long-term outcome we have victory here for you you're not under any illusions and you may even for some of you be abstaining from substances here you know this is the card of illusions and delusions so at the root of the reading in reverse this means you are very clear at this time leo about what you're really wanting and you know emotionally you don't have any uh any deceptions you there's no one can pull the wool over your eyes right now leo in the past, I feel like there was a risk that you wanted to take or um, possibly an opportunity that you missed out on. And since this is a love reading, it could be with someone. You, even if you're a female, may feel like you sort of missed a moment that you could have, you know, changed the outcome had you acted differently. So you're having a slight regret. It's not really regret, Leo, so much as wondering what might have been if you had taken a right instead of a left let's say that one corner that keeps crossing your mind 
With the Nine of Cups in reverse in the coming days and weeks, this is showing that, you know, at least for the rest of Leo season, there is someone that you really do have strong feelings for here, but you're not going to be making any moves, Leo. Um, this is more than the Page of Cups. This is more than an offer. This is very sincere, genuine, mutual love, but it's just, you're, you're feeling it, and I do usually sense with the Knight of Cups that this is mutual, even relationship potential, but in reverse, it shows you're not going to be making any moves towards that. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that one. So in the outcome, as a result of this, you know, you're very clear about things, but you are emotionally either feeling very vulnerable, and this could be for those of you who are single or taken, or perhaps if you're not feeling vulnerable, you just really don't feel like putting yourself out there at this time or making a move quite yet, and you do feel like you missed a chance, but you're waiting for it again but I don't see it happening, um, that opportunity arising for you in the coming days and weeks. So with the 10 of wands, you know, here in the short term outcome within a month or two, because you, because of the situation in the past where you feel like you missed this opportunity, and because of just your real clarity about what you want, you know what you want, you're not really willing to settle, you know, you're strategizing, but you're not really uh, making any emotional movement forward, you're sort of staying to yourself, this is actually going to create a burden for you, and it's kind of, you know, goes back to wands, fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, of course, you could be dealing with a especially if you're a male, uh, Aries woman or Sagittarius woman, but here with the outcome, you know, this really is going to help this situation grow and your heart may even grow fonder of this person, whether you're with them or not. Absence sort of makes the heart grow fonder. So by you not opening up, you're sort of, um, like the seeds are planted, but you're, you know, nurturing them. So it's going to become a little bit of a burden for you. It's going to be hard for you to hold back, especially physically, passionately. You know, you may be able to hold back emotionally, but then you may not have that outlet. So I would suggest if you're single or not to make sure you're getting plenty of physical stimulation, however you have to go about that, just so that you don't feel overwhelmed with burden, with passion, um, just as a result of being sort of emotionally, um, in, not really, I'm sensing unavailable with cups, but reserved. And it's almost like there's this sort of self-consciousness too that you have in the second guessing of yourself from this missed opportunity in the past. Um, it's like, it makes you hesitate now. Um, I almost, once we clarify, would give you the advice to go ahead and act against, you know, your reservations and act on that impulse that might arise. I actually, um, I'm just getting this strong feeling to clarify this Knight of Cups and this Six of Wands with this same deck. And then we'll pull some more clarifiers with the other. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. So some of you might actually have big plans for this situation. You just don't feel like it's the right time yet. And the six wands in the long-term outcome, tell us about this. Six of pentacles. So this is a very reciprocal thing. Yes, even if you're taking your time, there's a very good outcome here for you know, you feeling victorious, you having this great passion, enjoying it, indulging in it rather than being burdened by it. And also, um, you know, give and take, balance, reciprocity. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra. And then we have the King of Pentacles here in the atmosphere. So this long-term outcome, you know, usually for me, long-term outcomes are about a year or two, but I'm gonna say here that it's gonna be around Taurus season around the Aries Taurus cusp. Uh, that's usually the King of Pentacles. So uh, this is the environment position. So I'm gonna say that that's the time frame that this is really all gonna work out for you. So I feel like you're sort of gonna drag your heels and be a little burdened. And this is gonna take a little while to play out, but this mistake could have happened kind of deep in the past or you just not willing to ever put yourself out there for this. Especially if you're female, you know, you may feel like Oh, maybe he doesn't know if I'm interested type of type of vibe so the 
one other, well, I guess, no, yeah, no, sorry about that. So, you know, this is, yeah, gonna still be a little bit of a battle for you until spring, and then in mid to late spring, you're really gonna see some nice results. But let's see what's going on here a little bit deeper. Tell me about this Ten of Wands in the short-term outcome for this love life in October. Can you tell me about this Ten of Wands? What is this burden all about? Give us a little more insight into Leo's situation, please. The Fool. <laughs> Oh, sometimes it is so clear that it is, you know, you missed this opportunity in the past and you're waiting for it again. And for those of you who don't know as well, this is the same card, different decks. So remember, the fool's taking a leap of faith, beginning of the journey. You feel like you really missed that opportunity to put yourself out there, to jump into this or to pursue this, Leo. And now this, you know, you're going to drag your feet in the coming days and weeks. Um, you really, for some of you, feel like this could be something really big for you. This can be a proposal or a very big com new beginning and commitment and communication, written or verbal proposal. So in reverse, it's like this pending thing. The love is here with the Nine of Cups. These are swords. You, you really feel like there's a, uh, something really big looming on the horizon. But, you know, you're going to continue to wait for this right opportunity again you're gonna be feeling burdened but let me tell you what within a month or two by Halloween at the latest I don't feel like it'll even be that long um you're this opportunity is gonna arise again and I don't want you to hesitate Leo so give us uh, one more card to clarify about this fool what you what this opportunity is gonna look like for Leo whether they're the giver or the receiver in this scenario this is the opportunity kind of redemption from the past the two of cups oh my goodness Leo this is beautiful beautiful energy so the two of cups in the traditional deck is like one of the most gorgeous here it's pretty too you know lovers are up there they're occupied with each other it's a very loving card equal give and take in the original deck it's a great partnership as well because there's this sort of um, that snake eating its tail. I can't remember what it's called right now, but it, there's a lot of depth to that. And so the Two of Cups is just it's a great partnership, relationship card. Probably the best, one of the best. Ace of Cups is a pretty good relationship card too. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. All right, I'm just going through because I want to show you. Here it is. This is the Two of Cups in the traditional deck. So see their union here. Some people even say it's like a hand um, fasting ceremony. You know? And this is the medicinal cup. So and see, even there's the lion head, there's you, Leo. But these two are, uh, <laughs> the, there's a lot more to this story. But for now, um, you know, their, their cups are full and they are just very much equally yoked. And this is the same card here. See, these two are very much preoccupied with their lives together, if that makes sense. You know, these little two up on the brand, and here's the two of cups, the chalices. All right, so, man, you are going to know when it's the right time. You just will, and you will take that risk. With this, it will be undeniable. I feel like you really have someone on the horizon for you. If you haven't met them yet, I still feel like either if you're not aware of them, they're very aware of you and they're waiting for this moment. And if you two are already in a relationship, then this is just something cyclical where you may be feeling a little closed off at this time or there may be some sort of separation between you two. It could be just inadvertently because of the virus where you just feel very lonely and you know you're holding back saving those emotions to take that leap to see your person something like that if you're in a relationship it can even be more subtle in the home you're just waiting for the right time 
to approach them, possibly. Let's clarify this Seven of Cups in reverse at the root of the reading. I just want to get a little more insight about the root of the reading. The Ten of Swords in reverse. So I do feel like you're having a little bit of pain or discomfort. It's almost like you can't sort of either indulge in what you usually do or you don't get the satisfaction out of what your normal indulgence is you know it's whatever they may be like it's, it's eating a box of chocolates or you know seeing randos or something whatever it is it's not fulfilling you here and you're feeling some pain you know the ten of swords all the swords are in his back in the original deck and here you see it's like it's the end of a cycle and it's before you get into the major arcana so you know he's come a long way he's about to make it into you know the hierarchy the, the you know royal uh hierarchy and so he is just feeling like oh man and but see in the original deck all the swords are in his back so in reverse that can be very painful you could even feel like you were stabbed in the back and you're becoming more clear about it maybe um I just sense that maybe there was some interference by like a third party or a friend where they said something swords deals with words um that had you hesitate possibly Leo. i don't know let's go ahead and clarify the fool on you know what what sort of this tragic end is with this ten of swords so we have temperance here you're being very very patient and the five of pentacles you felt sort of left out on your own um but at the same time there's a sense that you were like i'm not i'm not on my own really um i have companions like sagittarius i have patience i don't need you kind of thing but still feeling very separated from this other and if you don't know them then feeling very lonely as the hermit so tell us a little more about the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Just give us a little more clarity on that. And see that, you know, our Leos are either dealing with a Virgo or they have a strong Earth in their chart. Or they're just taking on that personification at this time. Queen of Wands representing the Sun, Leo. Tell us about this Knight of Cups and Ace of Swords a little more about the Queen of Wands and the Hermit. the five of swords in reverse so this is about you just don't feel like you can talk to them yet Leo like there's nothing that can really be said at this time and so you're sort of just observing them but from close range I mean I don't usually take the card super literal I'd say he's a little closer than close range but you know it's just like there's things that need to be said there's things that are left unsaid and you don't feel like you can move forward yet and show your vulnerability and show this potential that you feel that this had. And you're going to be feeling that way for a week or two. So let's pull one more card for a little bit of advice to get Leo going towards this wonderful outcome. Any more insight you can give us on the long-term outcome that may be coming about in the spring? I just want to pull out. The Ace of Swords. And, you know... I usually sort of follow my intuition on whether they're upright or in reverse. But I, I'm going to say this is upright. So I do my hand flips. Sorry, I got a little confused there because this card's a little different, so I don't actually know which way is upright or not. I'm seeing the boat here in the water. I see this is upright. So this is the ace of swords this is what i'm telling you with the fool in reverse but you're gonna rectify this situation with the fool upright well here you have the ace of swords where you're not wanting to you know come out, out with this big new beginning yet and then i said you know how is this all going to work out tell us more about the long term in the spring by springtime you know you might put yourself out there and get it going I'm still feeling a little mixed up, but in spring, it's really going to unfold nicely here for you. And it's already a strong union, a strong soulmate bond with the Two of Cups. So you are going to be able to do it. And if you're waiting on this person to do it and you're just trying to open up, 
uh, they are going to be giving you a big proposal, higher commitment, big new beginning. But don't expect, you know, swords are all about written agreements and verbal agreements. So this isn't going to be solidified or written in stone or, you know, the sword in the stone until springtime. Yeah. Unless you're dealing with an earth sign. And it could possibly come around Capricorn season. But that would be pretty quick. So that would be like around the holidays. So for some of you, it could unfold um, by the holidays. But I am sensing a strong, you know, late April through May presence. All right. With that being said, I want to go ahead and get into my personal favorite part of the reading. I almost don't want to pick these up. They look gorgeous. I might even keep using the Casanova deck. Alright, and it, the cards are a little graphic, but I marked the videos as 18 and over. I'm running a little long here with you, Leo. Hope, you, hope you're enjoying it if you've made it this far. So let's go ahead and find out about Leo's you know, person of interest or significant other, how their person of interest or significant other is feeling about them at this time. Of interest. Ooh, that came flying out. The Ten of Wands. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So they feel sort of burdened also. Um, it doesn't really look like it in this deck. If they're sort of, you know, he's sort of all in here is what you don't see. Even though you think this would be pentacles because he's got the coins on the table. But this guy's all in here. He is playing, you know, his last hand, it's the Ten of Wands, it's passionate, it's fiery, it's Leo Aries Sag, um, but, you know, he's got a lot of people on his team at the same time, so as much as he's feeling burdened, he's also very supported, so with that being said, that would translate to your person, you know, they have a lot on the table right now, they have a lot to lose, they, they are sort of all in, and this may literally be financially uh, in their own life, but it is about the situation. So if they haven't contributed financially with you, they could feel sort of feel like they've given you everything that they can, and they're sort of waiting to see how the cards are dealt, you know. And so is everybody else. It looks like there's quite a crowd here, but that would be pretty common for Leo, I believe, to have a crowd around them. <laughs> uh, now let's go ahead and see what Leo's person of interest or significant other is going to do about the way that they're feeling. And they're passionate, but they're a little burdened as well. You both seem a little burdened at this time. So they may be somewhat, in, in reference to the last spread, uh, they're definitely probably aware of you, if not everybody else knows. <laughs> um, so it's like, they're just sort of waiting on you to play your hand, to make the next move, to put your bets up. What are they going to do about how they feel? Are they going to continue to be weighed down by this? Or are they going to do something about it? Leo's so significant other or person of interest going to step up and play their hand first? Or I feel like that was the six. Oh, this is a six of wands. I've never seen this one before. At the bottom of the deck. On this deck, I mean. So that is a victory. That's that same outcome that you had here. But here we have the Nine of Pentacles is basically about, in the traditional deck, it's the card of being single. So, um, but this woman also has everything she needs. In the original deck, she has, you know, this fancy robe. She's got all the pentacles like around her and she has a bird in her hand, you know. She's alone, but she's uh, well, maintained like the empress although the empress i wouldn't think of as so much as alone um so usually can indicate being single and you see this woman has this man laying next to her but she's still behaving as if she's single although albeit a little bit taboo or risque at that um so your person is just going to continue to be single now are they necessarily going to be seeing other people i don't know we can clarify that but i don't um, it's not that they're out there with a bunch of people, it's just they're still thinking and behaving like they're single. So even if they're completely abstinent, they 
may just be looking at their options and taking some for granted, you know, and then others considering. All right, so what is going to be the outcome of this situation? Um, Leo and their person keeping their cards close to their chest and still continuing to behave as if they're single, even if they're in a relationship. The Eight of Wands in reverse. So the Eight of Wands in reverse so the eight of wands is usually a card of forward movement it kind of reminds me i think of the five or six of swords with the little boat here in the original deck i'm sorry so here these wands you know it's passion it's forward movement uh they're coming towards you so even though they're acting like this they're still coming towards you and i think with that two of cups that you had in the last spread that it's inevitable you know it's kind of faded that you two are going to come together regardless of who what no matter which direction they go left right center backwards they're going to end up headed towards you even if they don't mean to they'll end up bumping into you so how is leo currently feeling about their personal interest or their significant other how is leo currently feeling about their personal interest or their significant other. Okay, one more good shuffle. How do they feel about them? How you guys feeling? Whew, that's intense. Alright. <laughs> King of Swords here. So you feel like you are in charge with the words and you have control over you know, the communication, how, the respect, the authority. Um, you definitely feel like the authority. The Queen of, Cut of Swords can be cutting someone out. So the King, I think he's a little more evolved than that. He just really knows when to speak and when not to. So he's sort of the quiet, reserved, very emotionally detached type. So even though I feel like you really do have emotions for this person, like I said, with the Two of Cups outcome and the, the long-term outcome, you are acting very um, cold and reserved and emotionally withdrawn, or you're feeling that way. You're feeling like maybe there were some words said since we're dealing with swords, and you're reflecting on those, and you just, you don't feel like being around your person right now remember you're you're be you're the hermit right now so you just don't feel like really talking to them or getting too involved but you you could talk to them you have the authority the power to and you know that that's what you know so what is Leo gonna do about how they feel about this situation with their person or their significant other what is Leo going to do about how they feel about their personal interests or significant other? King of Pentacles in reverse. All right. So you're going to not give any stability, <laughs> no consistency. You're just going to sort of, you're going to be there. You're very solid. You're going to be there. Kind of watching them in their singlehood, you know, but in reverse. So you're not going to present them this is very interesting you know this is the nine of pentacles and she's single but in the ten of pentacles it's like one of the best relationship cards in the traditional deck it's like the happy family the house the the generations the dog it's it's a beautiful the ten right which is after the nine here so it's almost like you need that tenth pentacle for completion here in your singlehood and he's got it leo you have it like female or male you are the missing piece to this person to fulfill them and to bring them from singlehood into that ten of pentacles energy you have their pentacle but you're withholding it you're cut off you're closed off and that's how you're gonna act very guarded very standoffish but you have a lot to offer here and mentally you feel there's a lot of potential with all of those ace of swords so what is going to be the outcome of leo's person's behavior and 
how Leo handles this. How is this all going to come together? How are all these energies going to culminate? What is the outcome for this situation? The final outcome here. Wow, well, okay. This is the sun. This is the sun, Leo. Yeah. And it was in reverse. So you're not going to really be feeling like yourself acting like this. You really want more. You feel like there's more here and you're trying to play it cool, but you really just can't wait. You're just, you know. <laughs> so I really want to clarify this sun card and see what is going on here with you, Leo, because you're definitely, you know, you're really mixed up about this situation. You know, they're coming towards you. And if you're single, like, you're very reserved and you know they're they're coming towards you and you're kind of flipped upside down by this so I, in the extended I would really like to see you know clarify what's going on with you here how you're feeling we got into it a little bit already um, and sort of what it's gonna look like when they come in you know are you going to have to wait till you bump into them or are you are they going to reach out to you so I really love to look into all of that and the extended I am not on Vimeo like most readers I'm on psychicsfold.com the links below just scroll down below my personal readings and you'll see the um, Leo August extended love reading and for the rest of you and those of you joining us I pull one more card from this deck. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. And that is so much what the pool is about. It's about embarking on the journey, the new path. And you feel like you missed, you know, your entrance, right? But we saw with the pool, it's, it's, it's not here now. You know, in the last spread, it's coming back around. You are... The same possibility, if not better, is opening up to you. A new path is available to you now. Follow it with faith. It could lead you right to, you know, this person that's been around or it could be someone totally new. But it's going to flip you upside down, Mia. <laughs> flip the sun upside down. It's a pretty hard thing to do. So you're not going to see it coming, I don't feel like. But we'll find out in the extended. Thank you so much, Leo. Lots of love, blessings, and light.